18. And then they'll count all the letters in Anas's names and then also use that as a number. It's a big deal that is happening today and uh, we will be giving you some tickets. Um, so keep watching this. And I'll come back and speak with the operations manager who is organizing this premiere of number 12. Stay with us. So there you go, I'm holding in my hands a ticket yeah, to the most eagerly awaited movie premiere. I mean, there's four showings today and tomorrow, and it just may go around the country as well. My name is Kafwi Day. My guest is Latif Abubakar. He's operations manager coordinating this premiere of number 12, the latest expose in over a dozen exposés done by ace investigative journalist Anas Aremeyao. Anas. Latif, uh, salam alaikum. Good morning. Wa alaikum salam. Good, Good to morning. have you here. The day has arrived. <laughs> yes. Finally. 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 So, number 12 is going to be premiered today. Yes, please. And um, tell us where it's happening and the times. Um, at the Accra International Conference Center. Okay. Um, uh, we, the first show is at 3 p.m. Second show at 5 p.m. Uh, the third show is at 8 p.m. And then the fourth show is at 10 p.m. At first, we were having just three shows, but two days ago, we had to add up what we call the 10 p.m. show mm -hmm. for both days. Okay. So we have, uh, we're expecting 1,005 per show, so 6,000 a day, and uh, in all 12,000 patrons okay. to come and witness this expose. Is that the secret behind the number 12? Since 12,000 people <laughs> oh, will be, we'll be wow. watching the show. No, but that's interesting. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even think about it that way, but that's interesting. But um, number 12, simply, we, we are saying that we, we have evidence that usually we have a 12th person on the pitch. You, it, football is not just, even though normally we know it's 11-11, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but now we have a 12th person that determines the game, who wins what. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this, that is actually where the title number 12 came from. A lot has been said about this particular premiere. A lot of allegations have flown around. A lot of things have been said. Um, For example, Mr. Kennedy Ajepon, he said a lot. Mm. How has it affected the, 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 it, the, it the can't premium affect, of the show? It can't affect. Yeah, I mean, it can't affect. And, and so you mentioned it now. I don't even remember what he said. Oh, I didn't even. I don't, we've not thought of him as part of the. He's thrown various the, allegations against Anas. Yeah, um, various. The, the fact of the matter is that lies and falsehood. You see, if there's an element of truth, a particle of truth then that one at least, that one it will tickle us a bit. But when it is lies and falsehood, why should it? It's glorious. Why should Ghanaians believe you and Anas? Why should they And not believe uh, Kennedy and Japan? We have evidence. We show it. We take it to court. If he has evidence, what, does, what should he do? Should he just come talk without proving? Mm -hmm. And is this the first time he's done that? So, 
I mean, that's not an issue we should be talking about. We believe in the, the, the principle that if you have evidence, don't just talk. Show, prove, go to court, let's deal with it. Does Anas believe his reputation has been besmirched or besmeared no, 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 no. by not, this? Not by, not, not by that mm. statement made by Kennedy Japan. Mm. I mean, I mean, baseless. The last time he said he had evidence and he brought the evidence out, that's like three days ago. It turned out that our own investigation that we were doing to set up someone is what he brought out, and just a portion of it. I mean, why would you do this? For members of the general public who are going to watch the premiere, what assurances can you give them about their safety? Because yeah, there have been concerns there's, there's, that the, people the, may the be... The venue is actually, maybe, for me, I think yeah. is uh, one of the most safest places in Ghana. The, the conference center now. Security-wise, here, you don't have that kind of security here now. It's not the safest place. We had a security briefing yesterday, um, coordinated by the head of protection of the national security. Um, the BNI was there, the military was there, the police was there, and a private security company. And as of now, I'm sure by 10 o'clock, all the strategies and plans that were discussed yesterday will be mapped out. I mean, it's safe. Our focus rather is crowd control. Safety assured. So that's not a problem. And like we do for all our events, security, we don't take it lightly. We don't even end with just security simply means that you go towards ambulance, national ambulance service and the national fire, fire service. And they are all part of the team. Uh, how long is the particular piece that we're one going to be watching? One hour, 30 minutes. One hour, 30 minutes? Yeah, one hour, 30 minutes. Okay. There was some confusion with the numbers about who had been involved. I saw 66 uh, officials versus 77. <laughs> Um, what are the exact numbers? Who I, are the I, people who I are will, they? I will actually stick to that of the new crusading guide. What, what are their figures? Um, the, so we said, mm -hmm. not offered, I'm just looking at it from here. Six to six referees, 14 GFA officials, six Ghana Sports Authority staff involved. Any politicians? It's about football. The, yeah. That doesn't mean that mm -hmm. issues of politics will not come up mm -hmm. in it. Our focus is about football. When you come and watch, you see the other angles. You know, usually you move at a target. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, whilst trying to get a target, there will be some auxiliary things that you want to pick up. So that is for us to come and witness. For those who are just uh, getting to grips with Anas's work, I mean, with previous documentaries, has there been a high level of political interest in, in the work that he has done? Yeah, I... I Always. I mean, for the judges, yes. Um, for soul takers, yes. Uh, but I think that this one, maybe Kennedy, uh, the president's reaction, earlier reaction, uh, and then maybe Kennedy, Japan's reactions also hyped the entire program in terms of political, the political swing, one way or the other. But for almost all the investigations I have managed in terms of premiering and organizing, yeah. And is it normal practice that you show um, the big bosses some of the movie yeah, before not, it comes this out? Yeah, it's not the first time. It's not the first time? Mm -hmm. It's not the first time. So did President Mahama see the judges one? Yeah, this is not the first Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If my memory serves me right. Mm -hmm. This is not the first time. Uh, looking back, do you think uh, the reaction that the president gave and what happened with the Kuisinia and TG being, uh, well, involved and police issues and all that stuff, do you think you, you shot yourself in the foot? Um, Koku Baku said we were disappointed. Nevertheless, we moved on. We moved on. We didn't expect it, so that's why we were disappointed. But, I mean, we, we've moved on. It doesn't actually change anything in terms of the evidence we have. And so, we still have our evidence intact, and we are presenting it to Ghanaians today. So, that's it. There were speculations that there may be some moves to uh, place an injunction on the showing of this number 12 today. What are you picking up? Um, so far, we've not heard anything. Hey, I mean, it's been happening. The previous investigations uh, that we've done, that we've tried to premiere, the judges who were sued left, right, centre, is normal. It can easily happen. Um, hopefully, nothing has happened yet. And we know that, as of now, we are safe. We are, we are, we are, we are ready to show this particular piece to Ghanaians. What, what if at 2.45 p.m., uh, you, you get served with a writ? Mm -hmm which says, look, you cannot show this in Ghana. What are your plans? Uh, we get served. I'm, I'm not sure about that. 
I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure it will happen. But it's a possibility. Uh, it's a possibility. Let's, let's see how it goes. There's always a plan B. And then there will be a showing tomorrow, is that correct? There'll yeah, be four showings showing tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. What so, are the plans to take it around the okay, country? So we, we have, on the 9th and 10th, we have another showing in Kumase. We also four showings? Yes, four showings. Have and you uh, decided the, the venue? Oh, yeah. The new CCB Auditorium, KNUST. Okay. How many so, people can it take? Uh, 1,005. Okay. So we're doing, we are going to increase the showing in Kumase to us. So the tickets are finished. So we'll increase the numbers per day. Okay. Definitely. And then we'll move to Tamale on the 13th to us. Well, then from Tamale, we'll move to Takrade on the 16th. Other regions are calling for. Um, we are cutting our coats according to our size. Okay. Gradual. So it's almost like a number 12 roadshow. Uh, yeah. You see, one of the main objectives of premiering is to bring people together to sensitize them about issues of corruption. When people are watching it on TV, how do you take that opportunity? How do you, how do you organize a workshop of sensitization? Our aim is not just to name shame, but to bring people together to support the crusade against corruption. And this is, that is the main reason why we try so much to organize workshops, to bring together, to, to talk to them at least, um, ask them to join the crusade, speak to them, touch on their emotions, to stop doing whatever they are doing, if it is one way or the other corrupt, and then join the crusade. So we, we, we expect to win more souls as we move across the country. It must be an expensive venture. I mean, I know hiring the conference center is not a cheap affair at all. Who's funding this? Tiger IPI. Yeah. We make profits. PI makes profits. It's a, it's a limited liability company. Mm. So we do business, legitimate business, and then we raise money. This is our social responsibility. I mean, company, I'm sure you do a lot of social responsibilities whereby you don't expect returns, even though Entities like EIB gives you financial returns, but there are a lot of projects you embark on as an organization that you don't expect financial returns. This is our service to Madagascar. For those who, who, who are not too excited about the way these investigations are done, sitting back, I mean, what, what, what do you tell them? We, we, we are looking for the best approach to an F approach corruption in our society. For now, we think that the way things are done here, this and the announced principle is one of the best approach. People who actually think otherwise, we expect that they'll give us some approaches. Because this is not the only approach being used to an F corruption. You know there are so many other approaches. People talk about it and they will tell you where is the evidence. You go here, they will tell you where is the evidence. Can you Physically go and see somebody who is uh, indulging in uh, some corrupt, uh, corrupt activities and tell him that I want to record you and use it as evidence that you are, you are a corrupt person. Is it possible? No. So for us, for, we, to, for you to be able to get the required evidence, then what do you have to do? You need to go undercover. Is this the first time you've heard that the football, there's corruption within the football circles or the GFA? We've heard it over and over and over. What has been the reaction of the GFA? And then people within the football cycles. Bring your evidence. How do you get evidence? So if people have better options than what we have, why not? We are ready to learn. What is your response to those who say you trap people like grass cutters in the forest? You bait them and then you take videos of them and say, ha, I've, I've, I've caught you. You create a scenario and then you trap the person like some rodent. That is what they think. The truth, the truth of the matter is that we don't do things, uh, we, 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 how do you call it? We are not here to trap people. If, if you are not corrupt, we won't come after you. There's so much evidence we need to gather before we begin an investigation. Tiger Eye does not just jump into it that, okay, so I'm coming to investigate the eye before what? You must get series of reports, series of allegations, series of informations before you move into something. So issues of entrapment, fine, people could just...